Okay, third grade. We are going to make a three-dimensional chameleon that you can actually make its body have movement. Mm -hmm. So to do that, you need a big piece of paper. Um, I picked green because a lot of chameleons are green, but you can pick a different color if you want. And if you decide to pick a different color, it's on the construction paper paper shelf. Make sure right over there. make sure it's the big and not the small. Turn your paper long ways tall. Okay? And then you're going to take your paper and fold it over long ways. So your crease, you have a vertical crease. Okay, right now my fold is on the left side. This is very important to know where your fold is. You got your opening over on the right side, your fold on the left side. Now you might have it switched if you're right or left-handed. I'm left-handed, so my fold's over here on the left. I'm gonna take my ruler. Now you don't have to use a ruler for this, but I like to just to make sure I have a straight line. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna take my marker or pencil and I'm gonna start in the top left-hand corner and from the corner I'm going to make a diagonal line that goes all the way down. That's not working very well. I'm going to take the pencil, make a diagonal line that goes all the way down to the opposite corner. So it looks like that. Corner to corner. This is the fold. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out my triangle. I'm going to add these two scraps. I'm going to put them in the scrap bin to save for somebody else or my project later. Okay, I'm going to open up my triangle and I have a crease down the middle. I'm going to take this long left edge and I'm going to fold the edge to the center crease. Being kind of careful at the top because it's kind of fragile when you get um, this smaller fold. It might rip. If it does, it's okay. It'll kind of blend in later. And then I'm going to fold the right edge. Okay. So it kind of looks like a. Um, airplane fold. Okay, then I'm going to open it back up. So I have three creases, two diagonals and one going right in the middle of my triangle. I'm going to take this triangle and fold it in half again. Okay, I'm going to look for this center crease. This center crease is very important. I also have the fold side down. This is very important too because if you cut on the opening, it won't turn out right. So I'm holding the fold and I'm going to cut slits up to that center crease, maybe even a little past the crease. And I'm going to cut creases all the way down my triangle. Um, not too close together, not too far apart. And then I'm going to open it up, open it up, and then I have these two flaps. I'm going to overlap these flaps, and I'm going to tape them together all the way down. Now you can do this with tape or glue. I like to do it with tape.